So, how much do you think we're going to catch some more? Uh, I think we can, if we can get like a constant pattern of some big ones, no matter if it's like jerk baiting, chatter baiting, flipping, punching, hydro, you know, just spit it all like watered up. Yeah. Because I feel like we can catch them in brush, you know, 20 foot of water. You know, we can go shallow, we can maybe catch some giants with a fall transition. We can also, we can go fish in main points. Yeah. We can find them on the shelves of our drop off. Yeah, and, and uh, we can some suspended hydro. Yeah, they're they, they, they gonna be we'll they gonna be sitting right there on the honey hole right there waiting for some bait fish. Yeah, so could catch them on like a rattle trap or a chatter or, bait. or even my favorite bait. I I, re, I use every time. Shake it wins head. tournaments every time. A shaky head. Yeah, any size. All right, Jonah, how many tournaments? A couple. Jonah, what's up? What's your Not one, but I got up there. My prediction. Well, I think we're gonna start with a few small ones, getting the groove of things. And then we could try to adapt ourselves to find some deeper water and bigger fish. I think more, it, more bites gonna be pretty, pretty active. It so. should be good on like a moon because bait. yesterday it was full moon. It it should transition to they're gonna be hungry. Yeah, they're gonna be really hungry because they ate yesterday. But I think night. the only like bad part is they have a full moon night, so they could be feeding all night. It might be a struggle in the morning. There, there's no full moon. You can go look. There's a full moon. Oh yeah, a full moon right there. So, so maybe we're uh, kind of screwed. Maybe we might be able to catch them on like kind of like not even not a shad spawn type deal, but like catch shad eaters. Yeah. So yeah, we might have to get lucky and try to use pressure. Kind of pressure's gonna be high. Uh, so we might catch them more like towards noon. Maybe if the pressure's high. They're gonna be a little more shallow. Yeah, they should be shallow. I don't know. We might have to use uh, tease after target to advance. No, it's gonna be hard on Kenny though, because Kenny is like a lot of grass on the bottom. Yeah, but what I'm saying is we can try like some of his main like point shelves, and uh, there's we definitely some. some, there's definitely some, some we we gorilla. can find them. We, my my avatar can find them easily in the grass. You can see dots. Yeah. If we so just, if we could just find them in the grass on avatar in the shelves, about 10, 10, 12, maybe twenty, 20 feet. Yeah. yeah. I think if I could pick apart a big shaky, a big jig, you know, moving baits, jerk bait, chatter bait. There's something we could pick them apart on. We can actually throw a big old swim bait and find yeah. out. Yeah. That could eliminate a lot of work. Yeah, so I'm going to be tossing a fluke, so. Yeah, I catch it like a... Carolina rig. So you really like a crawl? Eggs on loads of journaling crawl or something like that? Yeah. A rig. A rig would work. Oh, A rig would work. Ten, uh, yeah, that's guys. Kinda... Welcome to Jet Outdoors. It's your boys. Got Eddie. I'm Jonah. And then behind, behind, the you, get behind you guys. It's, it's me, so, yeah. Uh, so, my prediction, I, I was saying I would rig some lines, some good Berkeley vanish safety pound. Well, <laughs> Bye. You used to be good Berkeley vanish. <laughs> All right, so, tomorrow, my predictions on what I think I can I can pick some off of. 100% this black and red jig. Get a zoom, a uh, little mini speaker on the back. Uh, this is my Shimano Corrado on a Falcon. That's that's one great bait that I think I can pick some off, you know, flip it off off the edge of high driller or offshore. Another big key with it being the fall, so that's winter transition, is this freaking KVD suspended jerk bait. Find them on T's active target, and that might be a big key tomorrow. Uh, got a few T rigs, you know, some Magnum trick worms, some little, little young. Yeah. yeah. Well, action. I got. I was playing around with a little crankbait, but I probably could tie a swim jig on or something like get to the bottom. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's just my my like, guesstimation, and I'll film T because I know he wants to give him a little. So uh, this is me, Tristan. So this is my rig right here, my baby, my baby. This right here was Grandpa kept. Thank you to H, H and W Marine. And uh, so this place out there to get your stuff over there. They sell Phoenix, uh, Skeeter. What else Bass they sell? Cat, they sell. They even sell uh, Ranger sometimes. It's it's anything. Boats, new boats. If you want anything, James Johnson at H&W Marine. All the way. All the way. He's the dude to talk to, James Johnson. He, he, he's the one who helped me out to get all this stuff on this boat. So, thank he's, to him. He's got the 112. What's that? Probably like a 52-inch shaft. Oh, yeah. It's the biggest one you can get. For because it. when Kobe hit, you can't get stuff. We had to back order this. This took at least three or four weeks to get in. But after Target, when we, it took a, half a year to get this right here.
So it took time. The, the, the pandemic stuff, yeah, it's real. They're getting stuff like this right here. All, the, all those chips, electronic stuff, shortage. I think it's all baloney, but it, it's all what you think, so. Yeah, man, Tristan has a, a very nice rig. He's got his little pluck. He's got an HDS-9 in the bolt up right here for his active target. He's got a nice tray, a great trolling motor. Um, he's got everything hidden real nice. All thanks to uh, H&W did this right H &W here. H&W did all of this right they here. They rigged all this stuff up. Yes. Thanks to the mechanics who did this right here. Yeah, because. At the shop. The best people out there. So, therefore, H&W should sponsor us. <laughs> Man. <laughs> maybe. I... Maybe in the future, but if we get out there. The future goals, H&W. Future W. Yeah. W's right there, bro. In my, W's. In my opinion, H&W is one of the best Marines in North Louisiana or in the world. There's a lot of great Marine shops out there, a lot of great companies, a lot of great bass boat brands. Oh, but H&W. Also, also, they are located in Texas, too. In Arkansas, I think so. But they're they're, they're all around <laughs> Architects. I think so. Yes, they're an amazing company. Um, the, the customer support is off the chain. And they just make amazing products. You can go in there and get lithium batteries. You can get your graphs, troll motors. Y'all seen? Also, also, also. That's on cool. old Tilly to Ben. <laughs> on a tournament. Hey, uh, this right here, this pole, put a hole in my boat. So we went to H and W, and they said, um, "Buy this right here, and it'll fix your problem. It, it locks in place. It's a Mancota product, but." It works like a charm. It locks in place. It won't move. This thing won't move at all. Go down the road, hit big, um, big old um, pumps, yep. potholes, Louisiana, Oklahoma. Takes like a champ. So this is also a tease. What's it? Your brand new Dobbins? Oh yeah, this right here. I won in the tournament. It's the the, the, the thing, I think it's the Red River Tournament. We yeah, finished. the high school bass classic. Uh huh. The bass classic. March twenty seventh. Y'all be there. Yeah. I'm not fishing there no more because I graduated already. But hey, I, I hey, fish it. Hey, I caught fish in the tournament. I was like, if y'all, if y'all, if y'all are in the north, if y'all in the north uh, Louisiana region, I'm sure T would love to take y'all out in this boat right here. He can put y'all on <laughs> some fish. <laughs> I'm telling on, you, on, on, on old two little bin. Okay, I got we're, nine places. We're, we're not a tour service, guys. Come so, on, <laughs> come on. I can show you some spots. You show out there. them where you show them. Where. I can show you the world. Right. No, but seriously, though, guys, I mean, T, he, he knows Red River, Toledo Bend, uh, Lake Pines. Mostly he, North Louisiana. North Louisiana, in, he's, in Texas. he's a hammer. So uh, if y'all if y'all are in need of, if y'all are in need of a boat captain for the high, for the high school bass classic, uh, <laughs> as long as y'all, as long as I pay the entry fee, T's got you, man. I he's got you. Great dude. Trust him with my life. He's been broke. Hey, so. hey, hey. This is how I met him. I texted him on Facebook. I said, hey, you want to go fishing? He said, yeah. I said, okay, meet me at um, uh, Lake Claiborne in the morning. What's up? What's up? What's up? I'm sitting here shooting a vlog. Oh. Got... What's up? These are some of my, these are some of my buddies from uh, Bozier. I'm sitting here shooting a vlog. jonah has got hella women. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Shoot a vlog. Yeah. What are we... Boom. We are back, okay? Um, just for like this man right here, I don't know how he gets <laughs> hell of a woman. Okay, but for real guys, that's uh, we're gonna try and blow their face out. That's Donut's personal business. Uh, you know, which we're all we're all for this YouTube stuff, but we try to keep some of his personal our personal life stuff to ourselves until we get big. That's that's something that's you know, yeah. separate. Yeah, so. hey, it gets real big right here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, you are real big man. You're a real big guy. But uh, big dude right here. Like but yeah, football, guys. So. But yeah, guys. Until you, um, until you screwed up your I guess yeah, we will right. catch y'all when we go back yeah, inside. We'll catch y'all like, tomorrow morning when we're. Oh yeah, we can do that too. This is our we're, intro. We're, we're so uh, before we do, before we leave, I'm gonna give you a little um, walk through this boat. So we have the deck right here. We're right now currently putting this Lorant sticker on here. It came with this ghost. So. Yeah, you already seen the ghost. Everything. The ghost is scary. Yeah, the beautiful rig we, that uh, old T Scott. Oh, we currently. Oh, I actually. We actually updated yeah, right here, this, right this this whole system on here. Yeah. Yesterday I took a whole. Oh, also. I just found out. I can put my power poles on my graph. So. 
That's the new LCD thing to me. Not included. He's got an HDS 10 back here. It's an old one, but it works. Same thing. It's got, it's got what? If I'm mistaken, it's got Navionics in it. Oh yeah, it's built in. No, Navionics it's a chip. Yeah. We just Navionics, yeah. Yep. Um, but well, all right. Shiny old chrome rims. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> ain't shiny. Just uh, it ain't shiny as that though. But they're shiny. Is, I need to wash it. So 2005 Yamaha HPDI one. But actually, hey, you know this right here. The motor is 2004. Really? Because they. When they built the boat, yeah, I, I it, this yeah. would be an older motor. Yeah. Than it's a newer boat, so be that should be a 2004 motor. Yeah, actually, 2005 Skeeter. This is his Power Pole Pro Series twos, eight nope. footers. If I'm not mistaken. No, it's it's ten footers. Ten footers? Oh, they are ten footers. Yep. No, I'm I mean, I don't. I can't speak about his boat. He has more of the stuff than I do. Because uh, these boats, these these Power Poles, say be in certain tournaments. Well, they're one. on Cattle Lake. Yeah, well, let me show y'all something real quick. Y'all come here real quick. Hey, shine, the, shine, shine back there. Just wait. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Observe the power poles. Yeah. Oh, we got to turn the, the, the back, hold, hold of this right here. Battery's not on. Battery's not on. So. Okay. One second. Now function. <laughs> How about this shit? Okay. Well, I mean, we, we're back again. Back in. Back in. Back in. <laughs> Only one power pole <laughs> works. Only one that. works. Yeah. Oh no! Oh, Holy oh, shit! They both worked. Oh, they worked. Yeah. Fucking right. It wasn't working the last turn to the last leg, but it worked this time somehow. But let's go. Oh, please tell me it goes up. Go up. Go up. Go up. We don't want to chance it now. Go, go up. Go. 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 Go all the way up. We don't want to chance it. Dude, go all the way up. There you go. go well, come on, that, go all the way up, that's bro. that's news to us because they, they were. Oh boy, dude. It does. I can hear it uh, whirring. Oh, it does that. Go down. Oh, it does. Is something blocking it? Hold up. Hold up, hold up. Oh, now we broke it even more. Hold up. Cruising down the street and one broke power pole. Hey, close to that all the way down. Hey. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna fix it. We're gonna fix it. <laughs> I got it. You got that one to work. Not this one though. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Is it connected? It's connected. Little. Pause. So, um. What, buddy? How? Hold on. Did your power button still on? Uh, turn it on. Turn it on. Don't forget our prime example. We, we, somehow we fixed it. Fixed both of them, actually. Yeah, we fixed both of them. Arizona. Get away. Get away. So you can get the power button. Just press it one time. Aha. Aha. Halfway. Halfway on, halfway off. But. Get behind. But, um. Go up, go up now. Go up. Now one more time. Yep. Working. Right there, stop. Took some engineering work there. I think it was the was the circuit board, uh, the boards were just loose, so we just moving around, so switch them, up, switch them on each side. I'm not entirely sure how we got it to work, but we did, so yeah. not complaining. Yep. Alright. So, yeah. Well, we're going to let it charge. Should yeah. we leave it off all the charges? Yeah. Thanks for watching our video. Um, thanks for watching me, Jonah, and Tristan um, do a little power pole. Um, Bullshit. Yeah, what he said. <laughs> um, but, yeah, man, I mean, we're going to try to take this as serious as we can. Because I know, I know Jonah, he's pretty committed. As you can see, he's trying to edit us a little little logo. <laughs> and he's a, a sneak peek. But, yeah, that's about it. Hope everybody enjoyed the video today, and we will catch y'all when we film tomorrow and I'll put it tomorrow night. Peace.